Have you eaten here before? Yeah, yeah, I've eaten here. I've eaten here. I've eaten here. It's so good. Have you tasted it? It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a great day. Nice, La Ventanita. So you guys don't know what that is? It's the, the window. That's the Cuban window. It's amazing. In Miami, that's where you go get your coffee, croquetas, empanadas, pasteles. All right, let's go to the office. Computer, first thing I do every morning. Go through all the emails. Like right now, I have um, roughly 75 emails. All right, so going to the shoot now. I always have my little fanny pack. That's where I have my batteries. Cards, make sure you got the cards here. I'll leave that uploading. So it's gonna take uh, 10 hours. Great, great, 10 hours. Hey, how you guys doing? Ningun problema, ningun problema. Okay, so yeah, so this is the new uh, office. I just got this, so uh, June 15th I move in. So look, you can see, so what I'm gonna do is probably set up this area for a little relaxed area like how she has here, like the couch. And over here I'll have the huge desk with all the screens. And you come back over here. So it's gonna be me and then I'm hiring one guy now and then I'll have a second guy helping him, right? It's a nice space though, it's very big. All right. Let's go eat. Let's go. Okay, roasters and toasters. Let's go eat some breakfast. All right. Yeah, so this is sort of how I usually do my videos. You know, as soon as I get to the spot, I try to get all the B-roll quick, you know? And this is what makes the video, right? All the B-roll, B-roll's king. I can't just be like, film myself talking about it and then not actually show. It makes no sense. I, I'm surprised by all the people who still do that. It's gonna be awesome. So this is not food ready yet. We get the food and then we still have to get photos and video of the food, all the B-roll, right? And then we'll start eating. Is American breakfast. breakfast thing? Oh yeah. Egg Benedict, and, yeah. And you know, if I want to. I can see why. Let's get some yes, of this. With the salmon. Like, I shouldn't have done that, but Now whatever. why do they call it Nova? Oh, because in the Nova, like the locks. Okay. I guess because Nova Scotia, Got you know, it. that's why. Okay, tell me how that is. I am so full. I'm gonna have to go to the gym right after this. Oh, yes. Yeah, thanks for the invite, man. Let's no. Talk. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah, so Roses and Toasters, it's a staple here in Miami since 84. Oh, the breakfast is phenomenal. It's pretty cool to eat at a place that has so much history because not a lot of places have this much history in it. Yeah. Which is pretty impressive to be able to keep that alive for so long. This it's, is generations on top of generations. Exactly, especially and the one here. in Miami, 60 years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause, so they have another location. So they have four locations, but they've taken over old delis. That's what's happened, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. got it. Okay. Yeah, so this is the oldest, but they took over a 60-year-old deli, and then they added it in there. So, got it. But sense. yeah, worth a visit. Amazing, oh, yeah. Thanks, Benedict, for the you win. come through, roasted and toasters. You know, lately I've caught myself just working too much, on a screen too much. Uh, I do work out in the morning, but sometimes I feel like I need something else. Like, I try to do meditation, uh, you know, like uh, Isha Kriya with Sadhguru. Um, but I can't get, I haven't been able to get in a rhythm and I feel like what I need really is to be in a, in a, like a hot sauna steam room, right? I feel like that's something I need to do. Um, and luckily for me, I went to University of Miami and it's right here next to my place. Like I'm in South Miami, so this is right here. Uh, so I can get, you know, the alumni pass. Where is it? All right, let's go. This is amazing. This is like real. It's 
Crazy, huh? All right, so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to my office. I'm gonna buy my ticket for Iran. I'm actually traveling to Iran in, uh, I think it's two weeks from tomorrow. In 26, I'm flying. Uh, and yeah, so I'm buying my ticket. I have to do some work in terms of videos. I have to schedule videos, export videos. A lot of work, you know, I release almost every day. So there's a lot that goes behind that. <sighs> Come with me, we'll see. So while I do that, I come into here, and right here is my my trip to Iran, right? So my trip to Iran is right here. I have my visa, 100% approved, right? Because I need to use this for the for the ticket. So the way I search tickets, they go to kayak.com. Best day really to search is a Tuesday. I already searched on a Tuesday, same price. So you know I was gonna wait another day, but you know I'm already approved. I can't wait for this trip to happen. So I'm gonna look for the ticket and buy it. All right, guys, that is it. Purchasing my ticket. You know, this is one thing I gotta say about traveling. Try to go to destinations that are off the beaten path. You know, obviously, if you never traveled, go to those destinations you really wanna go to, but then eventually start going to these places where, you know, people are gonna be like, David, you're crazy going to Iran. It's like, no, I'm not crazy. It's something I've really wanted to go to my whole life. I have the opportunity. It's Persia, um, food, history, culture. I mean, I can't, go, can't wait to go. Uh, and then in terms of finding tickets, always, Search on many different computers. Try to always search on Tuesdays at the best prices, especially in, in the United States. And then I compared uh, the ticket on Kayak to Qatar and I actually got it for a few hundred dollars cheaper going directly on Qatar Airways. And here we go, guys. It's gonna be a, almost a 24 hour journey going in and going out. 19, it's a 19 hours. 19 hours and 10 minutes total. And this one is 17 hours, 10 minutes total. Okay, so then pay voucher, no voucher. All right, I'm done, pay now. All right, $1,500, here we go. So if you guys don't know, I'm going to Iran with Mr. Taster. Mr. Taster is the ultimate food god of Iran. He's taken Mark Weens, Trevor James. I think he's taken like everybody. Drew Binsky went with him. I mean, he's the guy who knows all the cuisine. He knows the country really well. And uh, yeah, so if you guys don't know, the country's massive, right? It's huge. It's bordered by Turkey, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Iraq, um, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, and Pakistan. I'm doing literally just one route, 11 full days. I'm going from Tehran, the capital, Tehran. Hopefully I'm saying it right. And then driving all the way down to Shiraz. May 26th, I fly.